Moving on to secret shops. There are eight secret shops and they will all spawn once in all zones mode. There will always only be one or no secret shops per floor. There can be three possibilities for a secret shop behind a dirt wall. It's either the Shriner, the Arena or the Conjurer shop. Three possibilities behind a stone wall are the Glass shop, the Blood shop or the Transmogrifier. And two possibilities behind the Catacomb wall are the Pound Broker or the Food shop. Knowing this, you can predict which shop is worth going to. For example, if you have already seen a food shop and you see a cracked catacomb wall, you can know with 100% certainty that secret shop is a pawn worker. Also keep in mind that the floors where the shops spawn are random, with the exception of the blood shop, which will always spawn on either 1-1 or 1-2. So for example, if you found a glass shop on 1-1, which is behind a stone wall, and then find a cracked stone wall in say 2-1, you can know for sure that one is the transmogrifier, as the blood shop must have appeared on 1-2. Let's look at each shop specifically. Starting with shops behind the dirt wall, we have the Shriner. The Shriner always has three random shrines, allowing you to bomb them, or activate one for 50 gold. If you bomb any of the shrines before they are activated, or if you kill the Shriner himself, three dragons, red, green and blue, will spawn and you will have to kill them before you can leave the shop. The Shriner dies in one hit, so it's an easy kill, but the dragons which spawn are very dangerous. The Shriner doesn't drop anything if you kill him, but it will allow you to activate a shrine for free. If you activate a shrine, the other two will disappear, and you can safely bomb the shrine without any dragon spawns. If you bomb the inactivated shrines, you can grab all three items they drop. You can also place a bomb so that it kills the Shriner and destroys two shrines. This will allow you to grab two items from the destroyed shrines and also activate one shrine. For example, let's say I want to activate the glass shrine, but I also want to grab the ring of peace or region from the other two shrines. I can bomb above the shrine of peace to get the rings and kill the Shriner. Then I will be able to activate the glass shrine and kill the dragons easily. A great combination of shrines for speedrunning or racing is if you can get a Shrine of Darkness with an immediate ring swap. Look out for those combinations of shrines. Like here, I found the Shrine of Darkness with the Shrine of Peace, allowing me to bomb the Peace Shrine, activating the Darkness for free and immediately swapping to the Ring of Peace to get rid of the Ring of Shadows. The second shop behind the dirt wall is the Arena. The arena is pretty straightforward. It gives you a choice of three high tier items. Grabbing an item spawns a set of enemies, which you have to kill before you can leave. It's always two enemies and two mini bosses. There are three options for the spawn. It's either this one, this one, or this one. And the last third shop behind the dirt wall is the conjurer. The Conjurer will allow you to buy a random item for a specific slot. You can keep buying items as long as you have the gold, but the price increases with every purchase. Having the Ring of Shadows here is a great way to get a full set of items very quickly, as it will allow you to grab the items for free. The Conjurer dies in one hit and drops the Bag of Holding. With the Conjurer dead, you will simply no longer be able to buy items from him. 